Hello, my old friends. Hello, wild ones. Here I am back at my nemesis, this old stone hut. This is my third attempt here, trying to have a successful sheltered night using this hut with a tarp for a roof. Will I succeed or will I scurry back to my car in the middle of the night with my tail between my legs? Let's find out. I attempted this I used a DD super light which just got ripped to shreds on the rock and I bailed. It keeps trying to take off like a parachute. Oh dear. Oh, the top gun. Nah, look. The second time I used a really heavy canvas tarp that didn't rip but it let water through and it was pretty miserable to be honest. I've been up all night, I haven't had anything at all. I feel pretty rough. So uh, let me show you what I've got this time. I've got my DD Multicam 3.5 by 3.5. So this is bigger than the first one I tried and it's gonna be a bit stronger because the first one was a super light. And I'm hoping because it's a bit bigger and we'll have a bit of extra flappage, I can put that over the door here to try and stop the rain coming in the doorway because that's been a problem every time I've tried this. Whether it will rip on the rocks along the top or not, I don't know, it may do, but I've bought some cloths and stuff to put over any sharp bits along the edges to try and stop it ripping. Then I've got lots of pegs, guy line, cordage and delta ground anchors and then this, my ridiculous big extending pole. Just great for warding off predators like this one. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is I'm going to use this to create a pitch. So put it up in the middle so that the rainwater will run off the top instead of pooling in the middle. That's the plan. Whether it will work is yet to be seen. Right, let's go. I've got about five hours of daylight. This is Stone Heart with a tarp, round three. I'm gonna put the guy lines on first before I start wrestling with it out there. That's three guy lines. Oh man. I'm not even going to entertain it. I'm going to cut them off and replace them with paracord. Uh, okay, here we are inside. Got to fix up all these sides now.
actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, okay, it's up. Got a nice flap over the front, which will keep the rain from coming in through the door. Couple of issues there. Already got a rip. And around the back, I've sort of misjudged it, so there's not a lot of material at the back, but it seems to be anchored in pretty securely by every attachment point. I think it's probably the most attachment points I've had on one of these things so far. So, yeah, now we just wait and see, I suppose. Nice and dry in here though. Oh. So in the end, I didn't use these because the ground's too rocky, I can't get them in the ground. And I've decided not to use my little cloths on the rough, rocky bits because they are expecting this to fail in the middle of the night and I don't want them getting scattered everywhere, making a mess, trying to find them in the dark. So I'm not going to bother, you know, what will be, will be. I do reckon this one's going to work. I don't think it is. I never know. Right, I have just changed into my lovely warm clothes. I'm sitting in my sleeping bag. I'm not overly confident, to be honest with you. I'm expecting a midnight veil. Yeah, I mean, if this rips, it starts stuffing around, I'm just gonna get up and go. Because I don't wanna be getting in and out of the bag, getting soaked and stuff. It just wouldn't be a good idea. So, all my clothes are wet. My posh waterproofs that I've been wearing didn't keep the water out. So, when we do go, I'll just have to put my wet clothes on top of my bed clothes. Yeah, that was really, really hard work. Every time I do this, I forget how horrendous it was the last time. But, you know, I suppose if this one works, it'll be nice to say that I did it successfully. Third time lucky. This is definitely the most sheltered one I've done so far. Really promising is having that door covered. Absolutely lashing down out there. So the rain's not coming in from that direction. Go on, and your lid up. All good so far. The problem is, we just need that one gust to rip something. It's game over. I really don't want that roof to come off. I really don't want it to happen. So it is mid January at the moment. So I've made life quite difficult for myself doing this today because the nights are so long. So we've got 15, 16 hours. I don't know exactly what it is. And it's not just that I've got a long night in here. It's that this top needs to hold up for a really long time. I didn't really consider that when I um, decided to do this in January. <laughs> Never mind, day. Eh? Yeah, and it's not just the top either, is it? It's that the guy lines, because they're all held down with rocks, eventually it just soars through them hopefully i've got enough guy lines on that they'll all sort of work together and support each other yeah it's six o'clock and so far everything is holding in place this pole in the middle did slip once during a big gust and i just popped it back and it's been fine got a ways to go yet though but i don't know a little bit more hopeful now than I was earlier that this might hold up. I don't think I'm ever going to have the really dry, cosy little night in a hut that I always imagined with this place. But so far, this has been a really good shelter. And if I can get through to the morning with the roof on, get a fairly decent night's sleep, I'm going to call this a success. It's only half eight, but I feel a bit dozy, so I might try and get some sleep. And hopefully this roof will still be here in the morning. And then right next to my pole here. So if it falls down in the night, I just whack it back up and go back to sleep. I feel quietly confident now, because this has been going for hours and it's not budging. 
We'll see. Bye guys. Good morning and welcome to this beautiful dark January morning where my roof is still on and I have successfully camped in the stone hut with a tarp. I'm warm and dry. I've had a nice rest. I just can't believe it. I have finally done it. I think the difference on this one is having the bigger tarp that's allowed me to have this lovely lip over the front, stop the rain coming in, it's kept me lovely and dry. And no rain's come through here. I mean, of course you get condensation on the roof and when the wind blows, that condensation flicks off all over you, but that can't be helped. It's not leaked or anything like the canvas top did. All the extra guy points around the edge because it is a bigger top. So it's really, really held down in lots of places. The guys are in place still I think, that's amazing. This pole which has given it a nice pitch so the rain just runs off and it also holds it nice and tall as well. And being a stronger tarp than the first one I used, the first one's a super light, this one's a bit more robust. It's still taken one for the team of course, it is ripped in quite a few places but there are only little rips, it's not sort of gone all the way through like the first one did and ripped into pieces. Oh yeah, got some nice rips going on there. Yeah, look, starting to go along here as well. Oh wow, look at this. That's a nice one. Sorry, top. So I guess I can finally put this one to bed now. When I had the idea for this stone hut with a tarp thing, I didn't realise just how difficult it was going to be. No. I mean, it's been absolutely horrendous. But it's also been really wonderful, you know? Yeah, I'll miss this little hut. But I'm really pleased to have done it. So I guess that's it. It's all over. Just goes to show, I suppose, assistance pays off. Just keep going, even if it feels nightmarish at the time.